Hello everyone, please welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my Mercedes G500. I'm going to upgrade the side marker in the front to LED lights. I have received the shipment. These LEDs are smoke LEDs and they're going to bring the outlook of my Mercedes. Once we're going to upgrade to LEDs, it's possible that on your cluster panel it will display error. We're going to install the register along with it. And these registers will prevent the error on our cluster panel. Without wasting any time, let's get started. It comes like this. And I installed the register right here. This will eliminate the error on our instrument cluster panel. In case if you want to upgrade yours, I'll list the part number under my description. Let's start installing the slide. So as you see, this one has amber color and on the back is red color. But I'm going to change it to the smoke color. The new LEDs, they're going to look awesome. So this one has a two, the Phillips screws, we're going to open it. We're going to pull it out. This was the original side marker. After placing the side marker, and these are smoke lights. In order to put this one in, it will take some effort to change it. You can do it a simpler way, which is by removing these two screws, light will come out. You can cut the wiring right here. This is the new one. So you can cut it, and then on this one, you can put the jumper. And that is how easy and simple you do it. If you want to do it the proper way, that do require some work, which I'm going to show you. I already opened it, and I will show you on the other side how we're going to open it. I will just walk you through at this moment, then you can take a look. Now I'll show you how we can remove this light. So now if we look at uh, this light, we change it, the side marker. How are I able to access that the proper way without even cutting the wires? This is the headlight. You need to remove the whole headlight assembly. On top of this one is like this. I will explain you what exactly I did it. Then you can take a look on the other side and uh, I will fast forward. So this one has a small tiny screws. One here, one here, one at the bottom. Once you remove these three screws, the headlight will come out. Then you remove the wiring. This is the old one, you remove the wiring right here. This is the new one we put it in. We plug in that, and now we are done. Now we're going to put this one back. These are really tiny screws. We're going to put one underneath, then two at the top. So this is the second one, and this is the third one right here. And this holds headlight in place. Now this is the cover. This is very hard to remove it. Actually, it's very easy to remove it if you know, but it's a little tricky. You see this is here, that is headlight washer. And if you look at on the back, that one has L side tubing. You don't want to break it. And this one is connected to this hose right here. This is the next step, but before getting to this, let me explain you. These two tabs at the top, if you look, one here, one here. These two tabs will slide into these brackets. These are metal brackets right here. So when we're going to put it in, it's going to go underneath. We're going to push it down. And then these two, this one also has a Phillips screws. These Phillips screws goes right in here. So what you do when you open it, you don't have to remove these screws. Screws will stay in here. This will slide in and slide out. This one, I just took it out. You really don't need to take these screws out. I'm going to put these back. I just uh, taken out to explain you. So once you lose these screws, like a couple thread, this becomes loose. Then you slide it up. You slide up, and then this one also comes out of the bracket. Then you take the cover out. Once you tilt the cover, you will see this one, the hose connected to this. Then you lose the clamp. Once you lose the clamp. The best way to do it, since it's been sitting there for a long time, get a small screwdriver and just try to pry it like this. So once it's open, it breaks the seal, then grab a needle nose plier. 
nor the flyer. Neither knows works best. Put it right here, then pull it down straight, and then it all comes out. And now we have taken the cover out. Once you take the cover out, you've seen it how it's easy to change the light. Now I'm going to put it back in a reverse order. But stay tuned for the detailed. I'm going to remove the other side. So please uh, look into that. So once this one goes up, we put that hose back. Then this is the clamp. So the, once the hose is connected, we're going to go back. Go like this. So once those are goes inside those small brackets, the one I showed to you. So we're going to make sure the clamps all close in. So you see this the metal body, and this is the plastic on this side. So we're going to put it on top of it. Once you put it on top of it, it's like this. So once you put it in, you see we're going to press it down and that's it once you press it down now those are the plastic clamp we're going to tighten these screws so you need a screwdriver Phillips screwdriver and keep tightening it once it's tight then we're going to tighten the other side and that's it and look at this it's securely it's in place so that's how you do it let's go on the passenger side, then I will show you and you will see how it easy to do it. Now this is the passenger side. We are going to change this light to LED light. And now this is how it looks. And if we look at the bottom, there are two holes. One here, one here. We are going to get the Phillips screw. So we are going to open the screws. You don't have to open it, just lose it like two, three threads. So we are going to do it the same thing on this side. So once the screws are loose and this is good enough. And now we're going to do this. We're going to lift this one up. So when you lift, this is how it opens up. So once it's open, then on the top, there is a metal bracket. So one here, one here. We're going to take this, the cover out. So you have to maneuver a little bit like this. You pull it and you don't have to pry too hard, just like that, you take it out. And good thing about this one, see this hose is a long hose on this side. Let me show you from this side. Look on this side, this is the hose I'm talking about. This hose is long enough. So we don't have to worry taking out anything. Now I can remove these small tiny screws and we can leave this one as is, just like this. Let it hang like this. We don't have to remove the pipe, so we're going to take the screws out. There's one screw from here, we're taking out, and then there is another screw right here. So after removing these three screws, now it's very easy. So I'll place it right here, just like this. So I'm going to cut the tie wrap. Once the tie wrap is cut, we're going to remove the plug. In order to move the plug, you need to press it and then pull it. Since they are sitting there for ages, over time they are not going to come out easily. And could be chances it will break. So you need a nose plier and we're going to pull it out. Just wiggle around, it break already. So I'm going to pull it now, harder, just like that. See it's break right here, but it pulls out. Now this is the wiring and I'm going to open those screws. So we're going to open these two screws. Once we open it, then you pull out the whole light out. So this is the new light. We're going to put it in the wiring. So one thing, I'm not sure if you notice that when I pull this light, this one has no gasket. There was a rubber seal. When we opened the other side, the driver side, there was a rubber seal and uh, I used the same one. On this one is missing. And even the one I replaced from the old one to the new light, that's kind of deteriorated. So I'm going to look for the part number for that and I'll order it. Once I will receive it, then I'll open these again and I will change it. So now we're going to take the plastic covering out. So as you see, these screws are 
right now rusted. So I'm just uh, putting these uh, screws uh, just to hang my light. And I'm going to remove these screws and I'm going to get the black screw. So I'll replace it with the black one. The wiring on the back. Now we're going to plug this one in. And once we're going to plug it in, it only fits only one way. So you cannot uh, do mistake. And now we can test this one. So you see it's how nice it looks. As for the resistor, you need to put it on. That's going to stay inside. So put tie wrap right here. So it stays uh, with the wiring. And now we're going to put the headlight back, put these screws back, and then put this cover back. And that's how it's uh, easy to do it. And I'll show you the comparison at night time. I'll show to you right now at night time how the light looks. That's in the amber color. So if we look at right now, this is how it looks. See, this is at the night time. This is how the LED, the amber color. Very nice and bright. So this is a really good upgrade. I hope you like this one. If you like this one, I will list the part number under my description. So please check it out.